the Australian Farm Institute, in collaboration with the Sydney Institute of Agriculture, is holding a webinar on the 22nd of June, commencing at 10 a.m. And the title of the webinar is Conservation Agriculture in 2030. It's going to be an exploration of how conservation agriculture is evolving and the sorts of pressures that are making it evolve. We've got a fantastic lineup of speakers, and one of those speakers is Tony Single, who I've got with me now. Uh, Tony, do you want to introduce yourself briefly? I'm a grain and cattle farmer located 50 kilometres east of Canamble. The main aim of what we're trying to do in our, in our cropping enterprise is to um, manage, manage risk as much as possible while still being able to participate in, in the top end wetter years. So Tony's going to be talking in the session that's uh, exploring some of the, the new practices and the really sort of cutting edge uh, technologies that are coming into conservation ag. Tony, do you, want, do you want to tell us about some of the things that you're doing on your farm? Yeah, so I'll start with a little bit of background in that um, running, running fallows is a key part of our business in terms of accumulating store moisture to try and manage our cropping risk as much as possible. So a number one threat to our business at the moment is the development of herbicide resistance and the sustainability of being able to main, maintain our fallows. So um, with that in mind, I'm part of a project um, within my family to develop a weed mapping system, drone-based weed mapping system. So the system's sort of capable of um, covering around 300 hectares an hour or picking up weeds as um, down to the size of your palm as a, as a rough rule of, th rule of thumb. Um, with the idea being that um, then that will enable site-specific site weed management options um, so we can really start to target these hard to kill herbicide resistance weeds, um, really try to manage our weed seed bank, drive our weed numbers down. Um, and then if we can make that a continual process, not letting herbicide resistant weeds set seed, um, and then hopefully that will lead to a more sustainable um, fallow management into the future. There's some really exciting technology by the sound of it. Um, if you want to hear about that and, and plenty of other stuff that people uh, are starting to use, jump on the webinar on the 22nd of June. All the details uh, you'll be able to find on the Farm Institute website, uh, farminstitute.org.au. Um, hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks.